Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In this video, I'm going to explain you about frequent patterns and also about market basket analysis in the subject of data mining. Okay, so basically, what do you mean by frequent patterns and example with example and what do you mean by market basket analysis? Why do we have to use that and all? Okay, so and before that, I have started a new channel with study abroad content. If you're having interest, I'll give the link of the channel in the description. You can have a look. So let's get into this video now quickly what do you mean by frequent patterns normally what do you mean by the word frequent which happens more commonly which happens most commonly right the patterns that appear frequently in a data set that is the patterns which appear always most commonly in a data set are called as frequent patterns patterns will include data items subsequences substructures data items in the sense single items like uh, you know computer is a data item sequence uh, first after buying computer we have to buy the mouse and then we have to buy the um, keyboard and all it is a sequence so that is also a frequent subsequence which always repeats right and next substructure substructures like it can be anything like it can be a graph or it can be a tree any structure which is always repeating those are called as frequent substructures okay so patterns will include uh, data items sequences and also substructures as well got it so the data items which occur frequently are called frequent data items subsequences which occur frequently are called frequent subsequences the substructures which occur frequently are called as frequent substructures are that's all simple okay so this is about frequent patterns now we will see the example now uh, for example i have written milk and bread here milk is one data item bread is one data item both of them are frequently bought together right so you will be frequently buying milk and bread together when you want to have it as a breakfast or lunch. So they are the frequent patterns or you can say frequent uh, sub sequences also you can say first a customer will buy milk then he'll go to buy bread right like that you can say and now we have the market basket analysis so basically what is this market basket analysis it is nothing but it is a process of analyzing customer buying habits by finding the association between the different items that a customer will place in their basket so when you go to a supermarket you'll be picking up a basket right you'll be picking up a basket or a bag or a trolley right so in that trolley you will be placing different things whatever you want to purchase all that you will be placing in that things so it is a process of analyzing the buying habits of the customer that is how the customer is buying that is uh, whether the customer is buying if it is a 50% offer item he is buying or buy one get one he is buying or 90% clearance sale item he is buying which kind of item he is buying okay by finding the buying habits of the customer by finding the associations between the different items that that is different different items the customer will be placing in his basket right by finding out the association between by finding out the relationship between those items for example here we have milk and bread like the customer has placed milk and bread both in his basket then you have to identify the relationship between milk and bread okay he will um, you know use milk and bread both together for his breakfast like that you have to find the relationship between the items that the customer is placing in his basket okay for this analysis to find out this relationship market mm, sorry market basket analysis will help you okay it is mainly useful for the sellers got it why because they can understand the pattern of their customer choices how the customer is buy, buying things he can understand the seller can understand by the help of this market basket analysis how we will have some strategies like i have written only two the they are just example it's not like only those two strategies are there okay placing them together for example uh milk and bread again let us take so you are purchasing milk then obviously a customer tends to purchase bread also in that case both will be placed at one place so that as soon as buying milk he'll get uh, a size over bread and he'll purchase the bread and come back so that is one strategy other strategy is placing them at two different ends suppose milk is at the entrance of the store uh, then or milk Oh, sorry bread is at the entrance of the store then the milk is at the end of the store then you have to walk from this end to that end in order to buy the milk right so when you are walking from this end to that end in between you will have so many things so you tend to buy them 
when you see the that and if there is any offer or is there if there is anything even though that is not useful for you you tend to buy it okay or you can like you know you can place some items which are not having proper sales you can place them near the items which are having high sales okay so that when the customer will come to that high sale item he will he may tend to buy the low lowest sale item got it that may happen or you can place uh, one item at one in the one first floor and the other item in the third floor so while traveling from first floor to third floor again in between he may the customer may buy something so like that he they will be using different strategies at the end of the day market basket analysis is nothing but whatever items the customer is placing in his basket the relationship between those items is you know you'll be identifying the relationship between those items and with the help of that you will be identifying the customer buying habits got it that is what market ba market basket analysis means okay and this an uh, sellers to plan their shelf space for increase shelf space in the sense how to organize the things in the shelves that's all next frequent patterns are usually represented by the help of association rules okay so what do you mean by association rules you already know the relationship between the two, two things okay for example computer and antivirus so if a person is purchasing computer okay then the customer also tends to purchase the antivirus for that customer and after antivirus he will purchase keyboard mouse and any other like backup power backup or mouse pad or any other computer related accessories all the customer will be buying right so for that we will be writing the association rule in this way computer tends to antivirus software support is equal to 2% and confidence is equal to 60% so what do you mean by support and confidence i'll tell you first in general i will explain you what is support and confidence then with relevant to this example i'll tell you okay first of all support is nothing but it will identify how frequently a rule is applied to a given data set okay how frequently you are applying the rule to a given data set got it simply you can uh, denote it as support of p tends to q is equal to sigma p union q by n where n is the total number of transactions instead of this you can just write p of a union b okay got it that is support next confidence confidence is nothing but defines a frequent occurrence of items of q in transactions of sorry this is p in transactions of p okay, okay. sorry so confidence of p tends to q is equal to p of b by a okay the probability of occurrence of b that b uh, sorry probability of occurrence of a that b has already occurred like we have conditional probability right that one now i guess you have not understood what is support and confidence i'll tell you with this example listen so support is equal to 2% means that 2% of all the transactions so show that the computer and antivirus are purchased together here we have computer and antivirus right support is equal to 2% means that among all the transactions 2% of the transactions will show that computer and antivirus are purchased together got it among all the transactions means what all the transactions of the store not only of those are related to the computer and antivirus all the transactions which are happening in the store got it next confidence is equal to 60% means 60% of the customers who purchase the computer also purchase the antivirus got it so this confidence is measure which is specific to the cust computer okay but where a support will represent the 2% of the transactions of complete store entire store that is this is general in the whatever the transactions happened in the entire store from those transactions 2% shows showed that computer and antivirus are purchased together okay confidence is equal to 60% means 60% of the customers bought both computer and antivirus together that's all okay so this is about the support and confidence why i explained about support and confidence is frequent patterns are represented by using the association rule association rule is nothing but you will be writing it like this in terms of support and confidence okay this is about support and confidence and uh, if you are not able to remember this for support you can just write this it will be enough for support it is p of a union b for confidence it is p of p of b by a got it so this is all about this video
frequent patterns in the next video i'll be explaining about mining methods thanks for watching the video till the end if you're still having any doubts just let me know in the comment section i'll definitely try to clear all your doubts for sure thanks for watching the video till the end let's meet up in the next coming video with another topic till then stay tuned to my channel if you're still having any doubts apart from what i've explained in the video let me know in the comment section i'll definitely answer